Good morning guys. It's a cold day up here at the off-grid cabin. I'm gonna take the sled down and try and load up those logs that got stuck yesterday afternoon. And hopefully with the frozen ground now, I'll be able to pull them up the last bit of the hill to where I'm stacking the logs. So I gotta go get those logs dealt with first and then I'll see if I can go find some more dead trees to cut down. Sass is convinced there's something over in those trees. <laughs> Here's where I got stuck. I had to just roll them off. You can see right there I sunk into this slush and then I just couldn't move. This field got sun all day when the sun's out so it was just wet, soft, slushy snow. So I'm gonna try and just put this, roll this big log back on and see if I can't just go with it, get started. It's on a, you can't really tell, it's on a hill. All I need to do is get it over there where the other logs are stacked. So it's a little bit of an uphill. We'll see if I can do it. I didn't have to go far to find more trees. There's the last one I cut. I got. I use. This tree fell down over winter. I'm gonna take 10 feet off the bottom. And I got one right here that's been down for a while but up off the ground. So I'm gonna take 8 feet of it. If you just look here, there is a, a fire basically came through 
all back here. The aspen survived fine, but it burnt up a lot of the spruce. Pretty much this whole mountainside. There's only so much firewood I can cut up, so I'm gonna try and mill some of it. A lot of it is spruce and it's not the best because there's lots of branches, but we'll see if it should be able to make two by fours and two by sixes. There's that one. And then there's one that fell right behind it that I'm going to take. I just got the last load of logs down here. I'm glad it's done for now. Thanks, Pop. All right, so this is what I've done in the last four days. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 17 logs in total. A few of them are eight foot and most of them are 10 and 12. Some of them are, I try not to take anything smaller than eight inches 
at either end because I'll be cutting them into dimensional two by six. So I need the five and a half inches wide. Some of these bigger ones I should get 10 two by sixes out. So that's a decent sized pile of logs there. All right, so that does it for this video. I'm glad I finally got all this skidoo logging done. And now it's, hopefully the snow will be gone soon.